Welcome back to the first annual Brad Miller Time Golf Classic here at the beautiful Ralph Engelstead Arena. Currently on the back nine, our leaders are dead tight at even. Let's go to the course. Here we are on the uh, the ninth tee. Brock Nelson setting up his shot, talking with caddy Andrew Panzarella. There's a dog lake left on this. Brock's had some trouble early in the week. Let's see if he can turn it around. I believe he's using a Sackett curve, the Eastern RS. Just as he begins to tee off, I want everybody to know the rules that if the puck lands in the net on the ice, it's a par. In the net, it is a birdie. If he goes bar down, that would be considered an eagle bar out. Oh, birdie. Beautiful shot. Lays it up nicely. Up next on the tee, Corbin Knight. Playing a seniors game here. Dusting off his circle. Freshman caddy, Brendan O'Donnell, doesn't really know what he's doing right now. Nida trying to help him out with the sticks. Now looking in a little black book. I'm not sure if that's O'Donnell's numbers or if that has anything to do with the course. Nida switching sticks now. I believe he's going with his own curve there that he customized. Once again, gentlemen and ladies, the rules are if the puck makes it into the net on the ice, it is considered a par. In the net, birdie, post, bar down and out would be a bogey, bar down and in, eagle. If Nida does successfully land the puck on top of the net, it is considered a hole in one, but if he shoots wide, it's a double bogey, which means he sucks. Nida line up. Birdie, all tied up. Great shot. Here on the uh, 11th hole, this party is tied at one under. Nelson discussing with Panzarella, asking probably how far the crease is. These greens have been quick today. Nelson checking the ice. There was practice earlier, checking the wind inside the arena, of which there is none. But he's checking anyway, just to be sure. I believe he's using that Eastern RS curve again. He's fared off well in the driving range practice rounds. Off the tee. Looks like he likes this one. Oh! Takes a nasty bounce. It's going to be a terrible lie up. That's a bogey. Freshman caddy, Brendan O'Donnell, doing a good job here today. Nida liking that bower curve. Brock Nelson bogeyed this hole earlier. We'll see how Nida fares up. Nida, an experienced golfer from Alberta, Canada. He's used to golfing in a lot of snow. Now in a curling pose, I don't know why. Probably because we're on the ice. Switching up the curve, wiping his hands, taking some deep breaths. Practice swing, practice swing again. And maybe he will go through a third practice swing, chooses not to. Here we go, off the tee. Corbin Knight going for the easy par, takes the lead, still one under. Great shot. And we're back on the 16th hole. Corbin Knight with honours. Still in the leaderboard, number one with one under. Brock Nelson even. This is a rather long hole, par five. As you see, the uh, Human Plank Bunker brought to you and sponsored by General Patton. Not a setting up. He's uh, he's had some trouble with this hole in the past. Can't really seem to sink his uh, sink his shot. Reading the play now. These uh, these fairways have been rather fast today. The greens, however, have been slow. There's a lot of snow build up in that crease area. 
Let's see if Nada can maintain his lead. Great sauce over. Great par. Wonderful shot. You can see he's proud of that one. Fist bumping his caddy like Tiger Woods used to do. Brock Nelson up to the tee box now. I don't know if he's going with a knuckle puck shot or if he's just testing the direction. No, no, it doesn't seem like he's going with the knuckle puck. Great camera work here. Andrew Panzarella reading the uh, the course. He's a fairly young caddy. He, uh, I don't think he really knows what he's talking about, but it doesn't matter because this is a completely made-up game anyway. And the reason why there's a caddy, I don't know. Dog Lake right. Nelson struggled on the last hole. Let's see if he can uh, get past the bunker here. Winds up a shot. Wipes off his blade. Rubs it some more. Sets up. Beautiful hands, yes. Sauce over. Heads wide. Another bogey. Down the uh, 16th fairway now. Rock a tough hole for you there. What's uh, what's going to be your strategy to beat Corbin coming up on the 17th uh, 17th green? I uh, just gotta gotta focus in. Uh, trust my caddy with his reads. Uh, play the wind. Uh, the greens have been a little slow today, and uh, you know it's gonna be, gonna need a big shot. How's it been with uh, with your young caddy out there? I know he isn't very experienced, hasn't really been in this situation very often. What uh, what are the challenges that you face today? Well, he's he's a little bit different than uh, than the older guys, but uh, we had a couple a couple bad reads, but uh, we're, we're ready to bounce back. Now, the black book he carries is that full of of numbers from various females, or are those uh, are those yardages and stats for the uh, the course? Uh, I, I'm not at liberty to to release that information. Thank you for the interview. Good luck on the 17th tee now. Corbin Knight up to in front of the leader. Clearing out the pegs. I don't really know why there's a peg there. Reading his shot. He could really do some damage on this hole. I don't really know what his cat is doing. Just sitting there. Being spacey. Short par three here. Getting out that black book again. Shows him a phone number. Nida likes it. Clearing it out, checking the wind inside a building. Don't really know why. Lines up. And he duffs it. Oh, you can see he is not pleased with this one. Goes for the driver throw. Throws his hat. Kind of a poor loser, if you'd ask me. I don't know if that's the caddy's fault. Or if that's just Nida to blame, but that could really help out Brock Nelson. Panzarella marking the ball. Steals the ball. We're back with uh, Brock Nelson. 17th tee. He could really come back here. Panzarella, short kneel behind Brock. Gets a little closer, a little more uncomfortable. Brock making some hand gestures, waving his hand over the puck. Some sort of witchcraft or magic and or wizardry, much like Harry Potter the wizard himself. And I don't believe it, folks. Yes, he's going with the Billy Baru. Kisses the Billy. It's a rather, rather heavy club. Known for shots like this only in dire needs. Kisses and blows on it a little bit. Steps up. And he gets it. It was a tough shot, but he gets the birdie. We're all tied up, folks. Going to the 18th hole. On the 18th hole. They call this one the Predator. Here on the 18th hole, Brock Nelson. Ready to line up his incredible shot here on the Predator. Fired his caddy on the 17th hole due to uh, personal legal issues. Offside, the, outside the course, excuse me. Checking the wind through the tunnel here. 
doing the lick the finger and put it and see which side of your finger is the coldest trick, oldest trick in the book. Practice swing. Practice swing again. Lines it up. Ooh, great shot. Looks like he likes this one. Going down the ice. In the hole. That's a par. Great shot. Corbin Knight lining up on the 18th hole. Watching in anticipation and probably pee pants nervousness. Brock Nelson. Corbin, who didn't fire his caddy, even after a terrible shot on the 17th green, lines up using his Bauer total one night curve. Smiling, all smiles here at the at the Ralph. Seems confident. Let's see what happens. In the air, down the course, and in the hole. I'm here with each golfer. Oh, seems Nida just fired his caddy. <laughs> Both caddies now fired. Unfortunately, due to my class schedule and the allotted time allowed for this video, we are at a dead tie. A draw, ladies and gentlemen. I award to you your 2011 winners of the Brad Miller Time Classic, Corbin Knight, and of course, Brockton Prime Nelson. Congratulations, gentlemen. Here's your trophy.